Every summer, my family and I go on one big vacation, and this year we're going to France. So excited, and it's really cool to experience new cultures and taste new foods and see new places. But there's always a lot of stress that accompanies any vacation we go on, but especially the big summer ones where we usually go out of the country to somewhere that we're not too familiar with. And packing is a huge issue. Our main point of arguing was footwear. We know we're going to be doing a lot of walking and we want shoes that are comfortable, but I also don't want to wear white tourist sneakers that would peg me immediately as a loser American. So I went to the mall and found these Toms that I think are reasonable and comfortable. Brought them home only to be ridiculed as a hobo. I've given money to people on the street with nicer shoes than that. Then we got to the real issues, my clothes. Too stripey, too black, too floral, too ripped, too slutty. They're seriously impossible to please. Samantha, you do realize we're going to France, right? Don't you want to look Trey Manifico? I've been practicing my French. What? This is, this is really French. Look. I can even pop the collar. Bon, we're going for two weeks. Do you really need 18 pairs of shoes? Yes, I do. It's really not advisable to get between my mom and her shoes. My dad is pretty good about researching. In fact, we have an entire Excel spreadsheet chronicling morning, noon, and night, plus meals for the 14 days that we'll be there. Okay, here is a copy of our itinerary. Everyone take one. Each person has a map. And here is Rick Steves' Guide to France. I have bookmarked all the pages you need to read, but I expect you all to have read the book by the time we leave. Oh, good. At least it's only 1,068 pages. So, once we get past all those little hiccups and trying to cram all of our clothes into two carry-on suitcases in case they get lost, I guess we'll make it. I actually did read through most of this Rick Steves book, and it did have many good tips. For example, it said that the French really respect low inside voices, and you'll never hear people talking really loud in cafes or restaurants. So naturally, we'll completely disregard that and continue to uphold the stereotype about Americans. We're fat, lazy, we'll ultimately butcher the, the language. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, puedo usar otro teléfono? Shit, that's Spanish. <laughs>